All right, so we just pulled up at the New Hampshire General Store. Go inside, get some pressed pennies. I don't have any quarters though. So I gotta go buy something, maybe get like cash out the ATM and then buy something and see how many quarters they can spare. So I'm gonna do that now. I see you guys in there, but I do got pennies, so. And then today we're gonna stop off there you guys a tour of that place. So I'll see you guys in there. So I just found this one. Just got me a brand new roll of quarters and I got some pennies, so Let's get it going. Got some dog cookie bags in my pocket. Gotta grab my pennies first. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but maybe break open the roll first. And uh, there's some stuff here. Uh, that Some information on how to get like wristlets and necklaces and stuff. So. So, we set up some pennies over here. We move the quarters to this side. And, uh, yeah, let's get some souvenirs for you guys. Load these up. Then, before I press them in. To line it up. So we're gonna do live for your die. I gotta make these a little easier. So I'm gonna do a moose. Let's see what the moose looks like. So this is the live free or die penny. Cool beans. The moose. So I'm gonna move it to the Mount Washington one next. So this is the moose one. Focus. Sorry, the lighting in here is horrible. Let's get some more corners. like a little lodge or something. This one is a little stained, that's okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm stoked. I was 
and I was able to find this. This is awesome. So I'm gonna do the mousse again. Because why not, right? And I'm gonna do the live for your die one. to the mousse. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole ton, but maybe I could. For those people who've never been, you guys can share the memories with us that we make with you guys. I've been to this location one time before. There we go. Move that to there. I'm trying to make the most of my time here because we still got one other place to visit. And that's the, uh, the donut shop. So if you guys want to get some of these, the, the link will be in the Etsy page. Uh, the link is in the description. So I will see you guys in a quick little bit so we can go get some uh, snacks together. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Friday's Feast. We're here at the Apple Cider Donuts by the Common Man Roadside. This horn has been going off, ruining my shot for the last seven minutes. So sorry, we're just going to have to deal with it. We're gonna go inside, go get some donuts and some fresh cider, so. So we just missed it. She just got done making some donuts. She told me to stop dilly-dallying in the parking lot. But yeah, it's a cool little shop here. And then, uh, I assume that they plop out the hopper there into the hot oil and then come across from there and then up the chain and then into like a bowl with like cinnamon sugar. That's how they make them. Normally I'd be on the other side catching them with my mouth, but I don't think that's allowed here. <laughs> Alright, 
right, so look what we just got. We just got a uh, half a dozen of apple cider donuts. The young lady who works there was nice enough to put a couple of donuts fresh into the fryer for us and give us those for free. So, uh, and then They sell apple cider by the gallon or by the cup. I got it by the cup because there ain't no way I got enough space for a gallon. It's, uh, the apple cider is good, uh, but it's almost like a, uh, it, it almost has like a, how would I explain it? like a really sweet beginning but then it like mellows out as you know your mouth has a chance to process it so here goes the apple cider donuts these are my favorite donuts I love how crunchy it is on the outside, like perfectly fried, and it's soft on the inside. These, oh, so good. I would come up here just for the apple cider donuts. The apple cider's good, but it's not as good as these donuts. Look at that, no cinnamon sugar, nothing, nothing. They're beautifully made just like this. That's it. I don't need nothing else. Like, I can hear my lips smacking. That's how good these are. So good. But yeah, the Common Man apple cider donuts. These are good. The first time I had apple cider donuts, if you're not from the Northeast and you probably don't know about it, or if you've never been to the Northeast, you probably don't know about it, but there's an event called the Big E, and it happens once a year uh, for like a span of a couple weeks in like the middle of September to like early October, and they have like, it's, it's like massive amounts of food, beer, craft beer, uh, you know, like sausage, onions, peppers, stuff like that, uh, pizza, uh, you know, a, a whole bunch of stuff, you know, uh, locally sourced like arts and crafts, uh, maple syrup, honey, um, fudge, live entertainment you name it they got the Budweiser stallions there they have a parade every day I think I don't know every time I go it's the weekend but the first time I've had apple cider donuts was at the Big E same vendor every year and uh, last year they didn't have it and I was on the verge of crying because I drew, I will drive an hour and a half to the Big E from where I live. Uh, let's see. From where I live for some really good apple cider, apple cider donuts and fresh pressed apple cider, which they have. And you need to get there early to get the freshest, uh, the freshest batch of apple cider because they will run out so it's like while supplies last these things they sell out fast like and these these are an understatement these tickle me pink and call me rudolph because baby these are good oh so good
especially during like autumn, the harvest, well, it just brings the vibe and the flavors together. I'm telling you, the vibe and the flavor together. The atmosphere, the warmness of the donuts with the, the cold of the cider. If you like warm cider, you know, everyone's entitled to their own wrong opinion. But uh, this, what is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? I don't know if these guys are having some road rage or what. Dude, you're gonna have to wait. I will crush your truck, sir. People are just driving crazy. But yeah. I'm gonna get back to focus on driving. If you get a chance and you're anywhere near the Welcome Center in New Hampshire on I-93 northbound, they make them fresh there and they ship them across the, across the highway. Get them directly from the source. You heard it here first. Get them directly from the source and you'll be good to go. Good to go. And uh, I don't know where they, where they make the apple cider at, but I don't think it's there on, on, on premises. But if you're ever in the area, I-93 North bound, the Common Man Welcome Center, fresh apple cider donuts, and it's, uh, this juice is definitely worth the squeeze, I tell you. So make sure you guys smash that like button, leave a comment down below subscribe hit that notification bell and uh thank you all so much for watching thank you guys for coming out and joining the day with me or you know a little bit of the day and uh i'll see you guys on the next video oh my god this lady should not even be driving yeah i gotta go this is crazy i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching